Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. So it's a busy day today and newsfeed is very busy. If you have not turned on your notifications, you might want to because there may be more than one video coming out today. Welcome into Tommy Bites TV and life because life be life and, and people are losing their jobs still. So I want to start this video off with back in December, um, I gave a warning about what FedEx was doing to the truck drivers at their facilities. And my husband was one of them. And so I'm going to play you a little bit of that from that video. And then we're going to get into the new layoffs that FedEx is now doing. So you guys, there are some carrier companies for trucking is what I'm referring to that are sending emails out saying that they are reducing the, um, the surcharge amount when it comes to fuel and how much they are paying out for these loads that they are giving. Um, some are taking as much as a dollar off per mile. And this is, I guess, an effort to cut the cost of fuel that they're having to spend on these trucks. My husband received an email from the company that he is leased onto letting him know that this change is taking effect right now. So we are going to be hit hard. Whenever truckers take a hit, we're going to take a hit, meaning we're going to pay more for, for products, for food, Whatever it is that truckers are delivering that we use, expect to see an increase on that. As much as you can stock up right now before things continue to keep rising and rising and rising, do that. that. FedEx Freight is expected to furlough employees in December. They didn't state how many employees would be furloughed, but it would last at least three months those workers will be allowed to file for unemployment and may be offered um, their jobs back after the three month period. They did say that those employees would still receive their benefits that they have currently during that three month period. Some employees have a choice of trying to transfer over to a different location. Not all freight will be laying off employees, but this one in Memphis, Tennessee definitely will be. So that, my friends and family, is what took place back in December. Fast forward to right now, current news, what's going on is a FedEx is closing down not just laying off but closing down a location so let me share that article with you guys and i can let you go for you know a little while until i come back with another video because like i said it is a busy busy work week So FedEx to cut more than 100 jobs, close facilities in Myrtle Beach and Florence. FedEx has announced plans to close facilities in Myrtle Beach and Florence and lay off 107 of their workers. The closures were included in a June 6 worker adjustment and retraining notification sent to employees that is known as WARN. They are scheduled to take effect on September 3rd, you guys. There will be 57 layoffs at Myrtle Beach location on 1600 Stockholder Avenue and 50 layoffs at the Florence location at 709 West Lucas Street. FedEx also operates a distribution center along George Bishop Parkway in Myrtle Beach. The company also plans to close a facility in Lexington County. 
<sighs> resulting in 134 additional layoffs. And Lexington County is, of course, Lexington, South Carolina. So that's what I wanted to bring you guys. I wasn't trying to hold you um, for any amount of time. Let me know what you think down below. It is so important um, that we, while we have a job, because we never know which facility or which company is going to close. It could be one that you think is doing really well um, and then turn around and it is then shut down. So a lot is definitely happening. I'm going to see if um, there are any other closures while I'm in here. Atlanta on yesterday, I told you they were closing two locations. One's a marketplace and one is um, a super center. And I'm seeing here. Okay, so let me show you this right here. I didn't even know this was happening, but it is. Hold on. Share it. Right eight closing nearly 30 more stores. 30 more stores, y'all in Michigan and Ohio. The newest wave of store closings include 12 Michigan locations and 15 store locations in Ohio. And I'm sorry for how raspy I sound. I think I am coming down with something. Um, and I hope not because I have to go visit my dad. Um, my brother had him... Uh, had to call 911 because my dad passed out while he was uh, shaving him and cutting his hair. And now he's in the hospital. So send prayers, send prayers, send prayers. Um, Drugstore chain Rite Aid is closing an additional 27 stores in the Midwest as it continues to go through the Chapter 11 bankruptcy process. In court documents filed on Monday, Rite Aid is closing 12 more stores in Michigan and 15 stores in Ohio. Back in 2021, Rite Aid announced plans to close stores in the U.S. to save around $25 million a year following other pharmacy chain shuttering locations like Walgreens and Long's. Um, since then, the company closed more than 200 stores. Here's a list of the latest closures. Michigan locations that are closing is Lavonia, Michigan. Burton, Michigan is closing two. Flint, Michigan is closing one. Ludington, Michigan. Wyandotte, Michigan. Spring Lake, Michigan. Bay City, Michigan. Marlette, Michigan, Rose Point Farms, Milford, Michigan, Allen Park, Michigan. In Ohio, the closures are Ashtabula, Ohio, Defiance, Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio, Coshocton, Ohio, Springfield, Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio, Oregon, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio, Warren, Ohio, Alliance, Ohio, Massillon, Ohio, Bowling Green, Ohio, Willisburg, Ohio, St. Mary's, Ohio, Tiffin, Ohio. That is the list of closures that is about to take place. Um, yeah, y'all. So that's what is happening. And we just got to keep preparing because like I said, we just don't know what is going to close up. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to transfer those prescriptions to whatever closest right aid there is, unless you want your prescription to go somewhere else. But we need to Pray for those families that they will be okay, that they will find, um, that the employees will find another job if they're if they aren't able to transfer over, uh, which the article just did not say. But 
It's a lot, y'all. It is a lot that's happening. The economy is taking a, a dive right now. And yet they still say in a video that I did last week, you know, that the economy is looking better and stuff. I don't know what they're looking at. Um, I thought the price of fuel was going down. Um, we had dropped, we went from 329 to 309 last week. And then two days later, after it went to 309, it went back to 329. So I don't know what's happening because when I get fuel in South Carolina, it is way cheaper. It's like $2.78 in some places. So something got to give and seems like it's us. <laughs> We're giving everything. You know what I'm saying? People are selling plasma. People are just doing a lot to try to make the ends meet. So the struggle is real. Keep God first. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. He created only when you be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Why? Because God is love. And that is what he would want you to do. So take care. Turn your notifications on because there will be another video, most likely today. Um, hit that like button. That helps push the video out. My video yesterday, it didn't even get 2,000 views. It didn't even get enough likes for YouTube to even push it out. And all I'm trying to do is bring y'all the news that you can use um, until I feel like y'all don't want to see it. Um, and then I probably won't do it anymore because it's a lot um, mentally to, and it's draining to give you guys the news you can use and pass it and share it with other people. And for those of you who have been sharing, I see you. I thank you. I appreciate y'all so much. I appreciate every single view that I get. Um, I just need YouTube to push the video out to even more people. And in order for them to do that, they have to see class participation. <laughs> class participation is you hitting the like button, you leaving comments, you um, sharing the video and definitely subscribing to the channel and to all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. Um, I saw my numbers go up past couple of days and I'm like, oh, thank you, God, because they were going the opposite direction. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? I'm trying to do everything that I can to make sure that people are informed because you're not going to see a lot of these things on the news. They just prefer to talk about things that don't really affect your pocket at all. Um, just a whole lot of bickering back and forth, this party, that party, et cetera. We want to know what is happening out here in the world, how we need to adjust ourselves accordingly um, to live without a lot of struggle. Because right now, a lot of people are struggling. So thank you for um, to my family member, my cousin that sent me this article right here. Well, not this article, but the FedEx article. I do appreciate it because I do miss a lot of stories because I just can't see them all. Um, so y'all take care. I'm rambling now and I will definitely call you. I'll call you.